I promise to expose all the cabals one after the other. Son Wolu vowed. Hmm. I know for sure one thing is that this country is a country that is full of deceit and crimes. It's full of deceit and crimes. You can imagine these governors that are, that are coming out to expose one another or to expose what the evil things they've done. They're exposing them. But then they too, they have their own aiding agenda. They too will be exposed. So they will keep exposing each other. That will be the confusion among the governors, senators, let me just crown it all, the political politicians that have been um, so wicked to Nigerian citizens. You can imagine saying that they will expose each other. You're just wasting your time. Just wasting your hard end data, your hard end uh, money and uh, voice. Imagine, once you expose Abuja Kabaos, you can imagine th that nonsense. It's not them to say they make, well, something meaningful. The, but if you want to hear something positive about the way things are going in this country, they need peace. That's what they want to hear. The news of X Men being arrested, Boko Haram being arrested, the people that are sponsoring this terrorist group being persecuted. You can imagine. A papa grief, uh, greed lock. It's a small problem to solve the governor, uh, someone will lose problem. It's a small thing. You can imagine. So if the governor like, let him mention the names. If he doesn't like, let him leave. That is his own cup of tea. But I have said before, to whosoever wants to hear, destroy corruption, extortion, on that court, court or that, or that corridor, and you would have sort 70% of tra traffic problems being experienced there. This is not the cabals we are looking for. This is not the cabals we are looking for. But those behind banditry, those behind um, insurgency, which you have refused to talk about, exposing, I mean, they expose them, exp let them expose the real people. All these are not well known. I'll, yes, it, all these ones that have been mentioned are just formulations. They can't come out and expose the real person because they are afraid. Expose them more. Let us hear the ones. We know that the popular ones are, they are still there, but they, they, they are selecting the ones that are not even popular that nobody knows. You should go after them and bring them to book because we want to know. Not all these names that, that this governor is mentioning. You can imagine mentioning names that is not even... Uh, uh, what's mentioned. Even if you are mentioning, you say this and I did this thing, they are the top rate and all of that, nobody will even take it serious because they are not popular. You can imagine. And it's also talking about traffic. There should be a traffic team in place that will be clapping uh, any in, uh, in, indiscriminate parking in Apapa. Also in Ushudi or any major road in Lagos as well and not to release until they pay fine. That is that one. But me, I'm not after that. Nigerian citizens are, citizens are not after that. They are after what they call freedom. Freedom of peace. They should be free. There should be peace in this country. Look at what he's saying. Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babachide Sonwulu, he said he vowed to publicly mention the names of the prominent Nigerians behind the the, the perennial uh, grieve lock situation in Apapa and, and environs. Even mention their names. I will mention the names to you. Then you will see that what I'm saying is 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 is, is meaningful. You can imagine. However, contrary to the expect, uh, expectation, on free flow of traffic following commencement of the electronic call up system for port operations. Or should the Papa express me on Wednesday, according to what Son Wolu said, Son Wednesday was on total lockdown as fuel tankers and containerized vehicles parked 
indiscriminately along the road, resulting in grave lock. Recall that barely 72 hours into the commencement of new call-up system on Saturday, being, the, being February 27, 2021, in the administration of the port operation introduced by Nigerian Port Authority, Lagos State Special Traffic Management Enforcement Team, the express determination to sustain the new order in Abapa and environs as great luck is then our east of. Newly created Lagos Special Traffic Team is headed by Special Advisor to the Governor of Transportation. Oluwa Toyin, Governor, Governor of Transportation, Oluwa Toyin Fahinke, and other members include the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Central Business District, Shola Giwa, and also Senior Special Assistant to the Governor of Political Security Intelligence, Ayodeji Lawrence, also Lagos State Commissioner of Police, CP, CP Akin, Odumusu, and the general manager of Lagos State Traffic Management Authority last month. You can imagine, he still keeps mentioning names. He also mentioned Engineer Jide Oduyoyi. He said on Monday during the inspection and monitoring of compliance level on the new order, Fayinka Fai Fai is the advice, special advisor to governor on transportation in the company of in the company of the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Gwinga Omotoso, they expressed partial satisfaction saying that there is still room for improvement, you can imagine. That's their own cup of tea. If they, if they like, there should be, uh, whatever they call it, room for equipment uh, adjustments or room for whatever they call it. That is their own cup of tea. That is their own cup of tea. What I've said is what I was keep saying. Let them look for solutions to all these menaces. Let them look for solutions to all these crises that is happening in this country. We don't want to hear any other thing, but let's hear that insecurity has been resolved in this country. No more um, X-Men, no more bandits, no more insurgents, no more Boko Haram, or whatever terrorists we will call it. No more kidnapping, no more killings. No more raping our young girls, no more mamming. You can imagine. The only thing, the thing that is common now in this country is kidnapping. They have kidnapped a lot of people. They kidnap every month. When they finish kidnapping, they release. But the last, the other time they kidnapped, that was three years ago, they kidnapped the Chibo girls. They released the Chibo girls, but the only one person that they, they never released, they released. They didn't release the Ansharibu, and the parents are still crying till date. I don't know. Even the, the, according to the report, they said Lian Sharibu is not pregnant for the, the, for the boss of Bukharam. Is this fair? A 13-year-old girl, because the girl was 13 years old when he, when she was adopted, when she was kidnapped. You can imagine. You can imagine this. So that is prayer. That, that is what we want and the prayer that we are praying. Let the government wake up and do something to this. Do something about these killings. Do something about this kidnapping. Not the NIA registration issue. Not uh, whatever issue, exposing where whatever just scarcity. Fine, you can expose someone, the sponsors of these people, and then solution. Let us prefer a solution to it on how to deal with this, deal with them and persecute them. Not what, uh, news that is not even that is not even even uh, good to hear or interesting to li to even listen to. So viewers, you have heard it all. I don't want to take much of your time. What is your take on this? I guess you understood everything I've just said.